It matters. That's what some of the youngest engineers in Fairfax County tell us, and their work doesn't happen in a classroom, but in a shed in the back of their middle school. Marcella Robertson shows us how these vertical farms are making a huge impact on both the climate and the community. There's only two tanks now, so this shed in the back of Luther Jackson Middle may be small. Let's test pH or ammonia first. What do you want? To but what's inside is making a big impact. So this is spinach right here. Dahlia Kasim and her classmates are young farmers using aquaponics to grow food. These vertical farms don't require any soil. This is our tank of tilapia. Only a small amount of water and waste from fish they're raising right here in this lab. Mark Smith is their teacher. They dream this out of nothing. It was just a plot of dirt. But the students maintain everything themselves. You can um, actually work on it and actually learn from experience yourself. Producing 50 bags of spinach a month. This system uses 99% less water than farming. We're growing so much food and it doesn't need, uh, you don't need to use that much space. And once those fish get big enough, They'll be moved into another tank and will be ready to eat. But this is much more than just an engineering project. The students harvest and package the spinach, sending it off to the school's food pantry that serves about 70 food insecure families every month. It means a lot knowing that uh, we can help people by doing this. And this really is the farming of the future with the ability to turn food deserts into places where organic food is thriving. When it comes to food insecurity, uh, what they're doing is really part of another conversation because it's not just important to provide food, but to provide healthy options. And the students tell me that their goal is to bring these vertical farms to other schools all across Fairfax County.